Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm taking you all through a day of me getting out of a slump. Right now to say life is hard and the world is crazy would be an understatement. I think we could all use a few moments of self-care and so here are a few things I do to practice self-love and soft living. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Many times people talk about luxury only in the discussion of material items, but for me the biggest luxury we have is time. So much of our life is spent rushing from one place to another or from one life step to another. Think about it, we rush to wake up in the morning, to rush to the gym, to rush home to get ready for work, and then we rush out the door. The biggest practice of self-care I give myself is allowing myself to slow down and let my body ease into the day. Especially in the moments where I'm feeling a bit down, I like to give myself extra time and the freedom to move on my own schedule, which might be me laying in bed a bit longer than normal or sitting on the couch enjoying my coffee while reading a book or doing something I enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so we had a little blooper. <laughs> I spilled the coffee all over the place, but it's not gonna stop my chill vibes. I just made another one, put a koozie on it so that the glass isn't slippery, and it's still a great day. <laughs> right now, I'm just taking some time to respond to all y'all's comments from my most recent video. Thank y'all so much for all the love. Like, I'm just so grateful. talking to y'all so much like I can't even describe it I just love it I'm like chit chat let's talk about it and please slide in my DMs it ain't no problem somebody can tell you in the comments listen we're gonna chit chat in there and we're gonna laugh and just have a key after laying on the couch for what felt like two hours, I decided to get up and start my routine for the day. So I went ahead and hopped in the shower, lotioned up my body, and then started my skincare routine. I really allowed myself time to not just breeze through my routine, but to slow down and really focus on moisturizing my skin, focus on brushing my teeth, and just be present in the moment. I've also been wearing my natural hair these past few weeks, and it's been a really great experience. Um, I love my wigs, I love my weaves, but just taking some time to embrace my natural beauty has been wonderful. I even took off my lashes for a bit, so we're just all natural, and I'm loving it. I'm about to put on some simple gold hoops, y'all. I'm trying to step my jewelry game up, but first of all, I'm terrible at keeping up with jewelry. It's funny, actually. After getting ready for the day, I hopped in the car, turned on my current audiobook, and headed to one of my favorite restaurants. I ordered one of my comfort meals, which is a grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup. I used to not enjoy eating out in public alone. It used to really bother me. But now I have found so much peace in enjoying my own company and I have no problem going to a restaurant, hanging out, and just being solo dolo. Just had an amazing lunch, so now we are headed to the bookstore to pick up some new books and I'm really excited. I headed to Half Price Books, which is my favorite bookstore, and y'all... Let me tell you something, walking around a bookstore is just such a relaxing experience. I went without a list, so I started by checking if any of my favorite authors had new books available. If you haven't read these books that I'm showing, definitely check them out. I will, look, I will link the book descriptions down below. After about an hour, I realized that it was time to narrow down my basket because I had slowly been adding more and more books. Now, if you're a book lover, I'm sure you know this process well and you hate it all the same. <laughs> I sat down in a corner and took time to reread the backs of every book and just kind of decide what I wanted the vibe to be for today. And I decided on mainly like upbeat reads because that's most of what I had in the basket. So I put the Mary Kubiak book back just because y'all know she does a lot more of like thriller, I guess, books you could say. And I just want to light it hearted reads. So I'm sure I'll get it another time. And then I just headed to check out. I stopped by one of my favorite coffee shops next to Half Price Books and ordered myself a berry berry tea. Then I headed to a nearby park and found the tree with the most shade because y'all know I live in Texas. 
I took my shoes off and allowed my feet to feel the grass, which sounds silly, but I can't remember the last time I've done that. I set out my big yellow blanket, drinks and snacks, and got comfortable. So y'all saw that I went to Half Price Books and I just had such a hard time picking what I was gonna get, but I, I'm gonna show y'all the things that I picked. Um, I'm really excited to read all of these because they are all authors that I'm familiar with or that are super popular. And some of them, it's crazy. I haven't read a book by these authors. The first one is The Secrets We Kept. This was a Reese Witherspoon book club suggestion. And y'all, if you wanna find a good book, you don't have to do much except for look for a Reese Witherspoon suggestion. Reese Witherspoon is going to knock it out the park nine times out of ten, and that's just a fact. This one is about a spy during the Cold War and about her like journey of being a spy, so I'm really excited to read this one. Then I got a book by Jennifer Weiner. I've actually never read one of her books, but I know she's a very, very popular like summertime read. Um, this one's called Big Summer, and it is about... A friendship that ends and then the one of the girls who's like successful super cute pops back up to the friend that she hasn't talked to in years so she basically cut off and she's like hey will you be my maid of honor for a wedding and so it's just all about that and so I'm excited to read this one <laughs> I feel like I'm doing terrible descriptions but what I will do is put links to the video to the books in the um, description box below so that way y'all can read about them then I got It Ends With Us. I mean, if you are on TikTok, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Tumblr, if you're on Instagram, you have heard about Colleen Hoover, This Ends With, it ends with Us. I actually haven't read it yet. So when I saw it at Half Price Books, I was like, I gotta get it, like, might as well. And then the last one is a romance novel by Sylvia Day. I love Sylvia Day's romance books, y'all. They're just so juicy. And specifically the Crossfire series. Listen, if you liked Fifty Shades of Grey, if you thought that was doing something, Sylvia Day is gonna rock your world. So I got this, I think it's like the third or fourth book in the series, I'm not sure, but I've read the series and she's just always such a good romance writer. So those are the four books I got. I was gonna get a self-help book, but to be totally honest, I like to listen to my self-help, not really read it, so <laughs> I'm gonna just like not get one. And then I got a bookmark because every time I go to the bookstore, I'm gonna buy a new bookmark. I don't know what it is. And this one just says the best is yet to come. And I just thought that was a good little inspiring bookmark because I need that reminder that the best is yet to come. So yeah. I'm trying to pick which one I'm going to start with because there's so many options. <laughs> but honestly, I'm probably going to start with Jennifer Weiner Big Summer. It just seems like a fun light. Re and then I actually picked, took me some fruit from the house. I just picked up a little bit. It's just mixed berry. And just really enjoy my time outdoors. I found the perfect shaded tree, y'all. This is like the best area. It's so shady. It's like not too sunny at all, but I'm, and there's like a nice breeze. But if the sun does pick up, I did bring my big old sun hat. <laughs> So far y'all this book is pretty good it definitely drew me in right away and it's crazy because it's actually about a plus size instagram influencer who becomes an influencer after she goes through a traumatic experience at a bar where basically these guys were mean to her for being overweight so i just thought that was so funny because you know my channel is about my weight loss and health journey but definitely suggest it it's linked down in the description box the sun is setting so i am headed home right now this was such a beautiful experience, y'all. I'm going to start doing this way more often. I mean, like once a week. Just not when I'm in a slump, but I just want to come to the park and read maybe every other week. Just to relax my mind. Because it was really beautiful. So oh, I am about to get into a bubble bath to end this day of relaxation. And let me show y'all my new purchase. I have to turn the lights off for it. But y'all, the way I'm obsessed, okay? Just wait a second. Hold on one second. Look, just imagine you're in a bubble bath. So yeah, this is my bathtub setup. I have some kombucha, my iPad, a face mask, and just some bubble bath I'm about to enjoy. Thank you. Thank y'all so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.